intro, verse, stoppy thing, verse, stoppy thing, verse, stoppy thing, and out. And that's raised on rubber. It is, one must assume, because of some bureaucratic error, that when you drive into Kentucky, there's not a sign that says birthplace of Harry Dean Stanton. In spite of this oversight, there is a zealous band of fans, led by Lucy Jones, who are doing their best to immortalize the man and his on-screen work. Every year, Lexington hosts the Harry Dean Stanton Fest, a film festival dedicated to the films of Harry Dean Stanton. A big part of the festival is a night of music, curated by Scott Whitten. I sat down with Scott to get some details on this year's show. Location plays a huge part of uh, these episodes of Lex Rocks. So for this week's episode that's in honor of Harry Dean Stanton Fest, uh, our interviewee, Scott Whitten, will be at the Green Lantern Bar, and I will be appearing on the various sets of many Harry Dean Stanton movies. Scott, I know you as the lead singer of Palisades, a local band, and I know you teach at Transylvania University. What would you say is your job description uh, with Harry Dean Stanton Fest? Um, I think it's kind of, well, I'm a, Lucy says I'm the musical director or music director of Harry Dean Stanton Fest, so... I guess what I do is I work with Neil and Mark and Palisades to curate and put together a show each year sort of um, in line with or in the spirit of one of the films that's being showcased. So for example, uh, we did a Twin Peaks prom last year with a whole bunch of great musicians. We did a, um, an all CBGB's night a couple years back because they were showing um, Escape from New York. So a film with Harry Dean and we sort of build um, a mixtape. So how did you get this job? Are you just a huge Harry Dean Stanton fan? Um, I'm a fan. Um, I've become more of a fan more than I've, now that I've learned more about him. Um, how did I get involved with this is because uh, Lucy came up to me at a Fangrobot show and Neil and I were at the show. Oh. Um, and uh, Lucy, I knew she'd already had the fest for a year or two, I think. and. Um, she said, hey, I'm thinking about adding a music night. What do you guys think about playing the Repo Man soundtrack? And it was, it was kind of as like basic as that. And we, we remember when Neil and I looked at each other, we're like, yeah, that, that sounds like a lot of fun. I love Black Flag. Um, I love Circle Jerks. I like uh, Lowe's Plugs, who did a lot of the instrumental music on that record. Um, Iggy Pop. So it sounded kind of like custom us. But we decided early on that uh, for that show and what's sort of become the thing of Harry Dean, uh, music night, I guess, is we were just going to be a backing band. And then we would call up friends who sing in different bands or play in different bands and and let's make this thing for a show. And so the first one we called Rocky Casenza, who's been a bunch of these. We called Justin Thompson, Mikey T, who's been in a bunch of these things. And as soon as that show was done, I mean, that was great. Had a really great night. Um, and next thing you know, Lucy asks us again. And now we've done this, this will be the fifth time, you know. So these shows exist thematically, you explained. What's this year's theme? This year's theme is, uh, well, the whole theme of the festival is 70s Harry Dean. Um, um, I don't know, should it be a Harry Dean and Confused or something? I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's all 70s films, and that Saturday night, um, they're showing um, uh, a 70s all-female-oriented trucker movie. It's about lady truckers. Um, I've never seen the film. I've watched little pieces of it here and there. And Lucy called me and we talked about this. And she said, what about an all 70s female fronted rock night? And I'm like, yes, we can do that. So we were really lucky to, you know, we uh, called people who were in the binders, who were an all female band uh, a little while ago. And Robbie Morgan and Alicia Cox and uh, Megan Hodges all stepped up to the plate. And we're like, yeah, let's do it. So I don't think I don't think it's fair to say that Lexington's music scene isn't necessarily testosterone driven. There are a lot of bands that have a uh, upfront female focus. Uh, uh, Ancient Warfare, uh, Corley and the Townies, Small Batch, just to name three. But in spite of that, it still seems like a big deal when there's an event like this where it's really female driven. Does that mean there's a lot more work to be done? I'm not the most articulate person to talk about matters of gender, 
Uh, on one hand, we can say there's been amazing breakthroughs in terms of women, there's always been women in the arts, but the idea of recognizing that women have always been in the arts and have a, a voice and a story and stories and voices to offer. But I think we have a whole long way to go in terms of all kinds of things with gender inequity. Um, but it's, you know, so many of my favorite singer-songwriters and so many of my favorite bands have brought those experiences to song and songcraft. So, yeah, I'm down. This is great. Well, man, I appreciate your time. Thank you. This has been a this lot of fun. This is super fun. Uh, good luck with, uh, with the music of uh, 70s truckers. Yeah. And um, we have a split 7-inch coming out with Big Fresh. Um, John mixed the last 7-inch we put out, uh, Nervous Habits. We're doing a split with John and Big Fresh coming out soon. And we're in the midst of recording our first full length. Awesome. Um, so there's a lot of fun things happening. Cool, bro. Thank Thanks, you, man. man. Good to see you. I had no idea which way to run.